there is a lot of information available on the all-new ninth generation Honda Civic. And that's what reading is for. But how does it drive? That we'll take care of right here. Let's start with the myriad models sporting Honda's revised 1.8 liter 16 valve inline four cylinder engine with IVTEC, providing the DX, LX, EX, and HF variants with 140 horsepower and 128 pound feet of torque. All automatic and manual transmission models receive boosts in fuel efficiency, but none more than the new HF. Honda's high fuel economy gasoline Civic, which has been designed to crest the magic 4.0 on the highway. Drive, in short, like baby Accords, whereas the Gen 8 Civics delivered a somewhat busy ride, relatively high NVH, and quick feeling reflexes, the Gen 9 is smoother, quieter, more refined, and more deliberate. Turn-in is less abrupt and dynamic transitions are more subdued, so when driving aggressively, the Civic comes across less nervous and more composed. The ride is more compliant and cabin noise seems more hushed than before. Of course, under wide open throttle, the 1.8 is still a busy power plant, a reminder that the Civic is designed more for fuel economy than high performance. While some of Gen 8's small car charm, the immediacy of the steering, the detailed sense of the road, has indeed been lost with Gen 9, the end product is nonetheless superior, offering higher dynamic limits, better fuel economy, and improved comfort and on-road manners. Outside of the 1.8's, a hybrid and compressed natural gas model will eventually be available and will cover those at that time. But for now, let's talk about the enthusiast Civic, the SI. The bad news? The new 2012 Civic Si is no longer blessed with a spine-tingling 8,000 RPM redline. The good news? Everything else. Yes, the high RPM screamer that was the 2-liter 197-horse 2011 Si is gone. But in its place appears the mid-range monster 2.4-liter 201-horsepower 4-cylinder engine with a 7,000 RPM redline. Not only are the new SI's four extra peak ponies realized 800 RPM sooner than before, but its 170 pound-feet of torque come on board 1700 RPM earlier. The welcome consequences are usable power and pound-feet, whether zipping through cities, canyons, or carousels. In fact, there's enough torque now that the helical limited slip differential creates modest torque steer when exiting a tight turn whereas the previous SI required a downshift, or two, to net passing power, the new car just asks for more gas. Further, the 2.4 liter hasn't lost the SI's signature racy roar. It's simply matured, now more Robert Plant than Kurt Cobain. The standard six-speed manual is as slick and sweet as they come. It's so excellent that it even has the power to convert a dual-clutch diehard. Better yet, the brawnier powertrain delivers improved fuel economy over last year's, now rated at 22 miles per gallon city and 31 miles per gallon highway. The SI's revised EPS is also noticeably better than its predecessor's setup, providing superior off-center weighting and a more organic feel. Moreover, the sport tuned suspension delivers a taut ride with higher limits, yet feels more compliant than last year's SI. If there was a Honda that could carry the Prelude torch, this new SI seems to fit the bill perfectly. If that's not enough for you, there is much more information available if you check out our full feature at MotorTrend.com. I'd like to see how y'all dig this here.